Hey everyone, it's Natalie. Dude, I have made like three videos on YouTube to uh, like on their record and I have lost all the material. <laughs> I'm like, I'll try again right now. I'm using my video cam camera. Sometimes it doesn't upload, but I'll try this way. The other one, I just did it. Took me 30 minutes to do and I've lost everything. So I am here just to, I'm gonna do a quick video cause I have to go to work. Um, I'm doing a quick video on how to win against a narcissist. You go no contact. You go silent. You do not gossip. You do not talk about them. You do not post things on social media. You don't put poems on social media about how you feel. You do, you, what you can do is you live your best life. You live your best life. Lose weight. Die, uh, uh, go on vacations, show people how happy you are in your marriage. You block them on social media because they're going to make a fake account. I had to put private on my account because I knew that my mother-in-law was going to make a fake account and go and see our, our pictures and, and our life. Uh, you can go private and then be wary of people that are trying to friend you you don't know. But you don't do anything. You do not show emotion. You don't, you don't let them know that you're hurt. You don't go and, because uh, they're going, going to go get flying monkeys to come harass you to get you back because they miss, miss their supply. You, if those flying monkeys call you, you don't say, and they start talking about that narcissist, you just like, say, oh, okay. You don't give them a fishing line. You don't say anything. You say absolutely nothing, guys. I am telling you, this is the way uh, to win. So you have got to find it in yourself, even meditate on it when you are upset with them because you're going to find out things and you're going to hear flying monkeys and all this stuff. Uh, you sit there silent. If you need to cry, cry. But you don't react. Do not react. That is what they want. Because if you react and you're upset and you go in attack mode and you start accusing, pointing fingers, they will turn around and say, see, I told you guys, I told you that's how she is. I told you. You don't say anything. As much as they're going to bash you, you stay silent. You document it if you're going through a divorce. You, you can document the abuse with your in-laws or other relationships. You document it. Every time a flying monkey calls you, document it. Every time you hear gossip that, because gossip's going to come back to you, you document it. Because they're going to post stuff on their social media too. Every time they're bashing you on social media, document it. Screenshot it. Keep it. Document everything that you can against them. And if you're sending letters or texts or whatever, document that too. But the best thing to do is you can't, exp you can't put your opinion in while, if y'all got in a fight, if they've discarded you or you've went no contact and you're trying to build that relationship back, they don't care. Only their opinions matter. That's it. So you can put your heart on a piece of paper or in a text message or on social media or whatever. They don't care. The matter of fact will take that information and use it against you and then say that that is how you've treated them. That is how they feel. That, that we are in this situation because of you. The narcissist never ever accepts the blame for anything. They will never, even though they know it, they know it. Don't get it wrong. Don't get it twisted, guys. They know what they were doing. They're intelligent. They mind fuck you. Excuse my language, but they do. They are magicians. They psychologically torture you. They are almost psychopathic. They have no empathy. They don't care. Don't, you can write your heart out. You can text them all you want trying to explain yourself. They don't care. They use that material against you and manipulate you into thinking that you are the reason why you're, we're in this situation. They don't care. They will never take responsibility, ever, even though they know it in their soul that they are responsible for the situation at hand.
They know what they're doing. They've been doing it since childhood. They're entitled people. They don't care. So listen to me. Trust me, this is how you win. You live your best life. You live the best life you can live. It torments them. It causes mind-fucking them. You live your best life, guys. You don't say a word about them. You don't put poems on social media about how you feel. You don't let them know how you feel. Don't do it. They don't care. They don't care. I know it's hard to believe that, but that's why I keep saying they really don't care. Don't you think for a minute that they have sympathy or empathy for you because they don't. Wake up. They don't care. So you don't react. Even if they're the ones that cut you off, the best revenge is then when they're trying to fish you back, is you say, I don't want you back. Like this, like, and then, because they're, what they're going to do is when you say that, no, I don't want you back. How can you do this to me? I've been such a good mother. I've been such a good father or brother or whatever. Like, how can you do this? And then they go around and they go tell family members that you cut them out of their life. Because when they go no contact with you, they don't really gossip about you. They might. But because they're torturing you, they're mind effing you. They're, they don't want other people to really know what they're doing. So when you go no contact with them, they want people to know. Because then they have to explain to people why you're not talking to them. Because when they're not talking to you, they're not really going around telling people that. Because... They are psychologically torturing you and they are manipulating the situation and they're, uh, they don't want to lose their supply, which is you. So what you do is you go no contact. You do, it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard to sit there and hear people come and say, do you know what this person is saying about you? You don't say anything bad. You say, oh, that's too bad. That's too bad. You don't explain yourself to those people either. You don't try to, to, uh, um, overdo the narcissist by explaining. That's the worst mistake you can do. When their narcissists are going and getting their flying monkeys and they're going and um, saying information about you that hurt you, you don't go back to those people that they've said that to and explain yourself. Do not do it. I'm telling you, don't explain yourself to anybody. You stay silent. And it is going to be one of the most difficult tasks you have ever done in your whole entire life. But I'm telling you guys, you'll win at the end. You are going to switch the uh, situation. You're going to flip it around on them. And they are going to crave you. They are going to do everything. Maybe buy, offer to buy you a new car. Maybe offer to go on a vacation. Uh, it, it could be a million things. Do not take the bait. You, as much as you might want a new car or I'll go on a vacation, you don't do it. Because then you will be owing them for the rest of your life. You don't do it, guys. You stay silent. You don't talk to the narcissist. You don't send texts explaining. You don't go on social media, like I said. You cut them out. You live your best life. That's, the, that's how you win. You live your best life. That's how you win. Anyway, I have to go to work. I've made three videos and YouTube, I don't know what's going on with their uploads, but it wouldn't have uploaded it. And, um, I'm having, uh, I'm supposed to have spine surgery, which I'm thinking to, I'm going to deny. I've already had one spine surgery and I made a video. Um, I guess I had, because I'm in so much pain, I didn't realize how good I was feeling in one of the videos and my eyes, I don't know if it was the way I had the camera, but, um, I was it was ridiculous. So I had to delete that video. Um, but, uh, yeah, for a month I've been on different medications and one, one medication caused all these white, um, blisters in my mouth and it was horrendous. So we had to eliminate medications to figure it out. So they're put, trying new medications and some of these medications, like their muscle, like a muscle relaxer, and it'll relax every muscle in your body and your eyes will look like this or you'll kind of slur your, your speech. You don't know it. You don't feel any different. Like your muscle spasms might go away. See, this is my scar for my other surgery right here. Uh, when you start having spine surgeries, it's like a domino effect. 
and you're just going to constantly have spine surgeries. So I'm like, I had another disc ruptured underneath uh, the fusion, which happens a lot. And so they want to do another surgery. So I'm going into my appointment and uh, next week and telling them, I don't want a spine surgery. Like you can just, let's see if it will heal on its own. Let's medicate me for a month or two, see if it heals because I've healed it before. And this happened about a year and a half ago, the same thing. And I've healed it. I know I don't look like I'm in pain, but trust me guys, I am. I'm in pain, <laughs> but uh, I've lived in pain my whole life, not only emotionally, but physically. And so that's also hard to toler tolerate is whenever you're going through aches and pains in your body and the narcissist is also doing mental torture, you feel trapped. You feel like, what the hell, dude? Mike, I am in pain everywhere. My heart, my back, my neck, my <laughs> whatever's hurting you, my head. And, uh, you know, Sometimes, but that's another thing. Sometimes you can self-medicate because of that. So you'll have, like, if you're in pain and uh, then the narcissist treats you like that, you'll be like, I just don't want to feel this pain. So you'll, you'll take an extra pain pill or something thinking that that's going to help, but it's not. What it's going to do is get you addicted. And then that just makes proves the narcissist's point even more. Trust me, I know. It almost happened to me uh, because of my first surgery. And I was, like, at that time, I was in so much pain from... The, the 20 year or at that time I think 13 or 14 years uh when I had my first surgery it's been a few years ago uh I was just so in pain emotionally um I was so scarred by the way that his parents had treated me in the past and the present that I was self-medicating and my husband uh you know he was in a lot of pain too. He started self-medicating. Uh, he had a knee surgery and self-medicated uh, when he was in pain. And then we had other family members wake us up and like my parents, they're like, dude, like you guys are self-medicating. Like y'all need to go to counseling. Like a, a pain pill is not going to help your pain in your heart. <laughs> it's not gonna help. It might make you feel good or buzzed for uh, a few hours and make you forget the mind fucking that's going on, but it's not going to help you at the end. And, uh, uh that's not living your best life. That's going to mind fuck you. Uh, or yeah, what it's going to do is fuck you. Excuse my language. And the narcissist will see, see they're drug addicts. See, look at them. Don't do that. So if you're in pain, you just take it as prescribed. Uh, but I, my point of this saying this is like, I saw one of my videos, my whole face, I was like, even my lips were like this and <laughs> I didn't take one of those today. I, I didn't realize it was doing that to me, uh, until I watched my videos. I'm like, oh my God, I was horrified. I had to delete one. I was like, oh my God. Like I told my husband, why didn't you tell me I was, my face looked so relaxed and I was slurring my speech. I didn't even know. He's like, I didn't really realize it too. I said, well, it wasn't until I looked at the camera, the video, I was like, oh my God. <laughs> Cause they're trying me on all these new medications and some of them are making me feel a little too relaxed. Even though I didn't really, I didn't like physically feel that. Like I just felt like the spasms in my neck had went away, but it relaxes every muscle in your body. So you're just like Ooh, slumpy. Anyway. So excuse a few of those videos if I look like that. I am definitely not taking that muscle relaxer again. I didn't realize it. Um, but don't self-medicate. Li live your be best life. Don't drink. Don't do any of that. Quit. Live your best life. Quit smoking. Quit drinking. Quit partying. Quit uh, showing them everything that they're saying that you're doing. You stop doing. Um, like, you just be on your best behavior is what I can say. Be on your best behavior. You're going to mind fuck them. You're going to win. You live your best life, guys. All right. Love y'all. I'll try to upload another video later. I'm kind of mad that I've made three videos and uh, YouTube would not upload them. So I'll try to upload this one. Bye, guys. And if uh, you want any life coaching, uh, I'll leave it in the description. You can contact me by my email. Okay? All right. Love y'all.